and welcome back to Europa Universal Four. I am Lord Forant here playing once again as Delhi. So we're doing really well actually. We've consolidated our power. John Per has been weakened. We've almost finished off Sir Hund up here, almost getting our first of our mission tree done. We're pretty close actually. We just need one more province there. And then we need a fair amount of provinces over there. Uh, in terms of cores though, we only have five in uh, actually, we have one down here in uh, Malwa. We've almost retaken all of our cores. Handful left. We're in a current war here, but it's not versus us. It's against the Jarrat attacked our ally, so we're helping. Whatever. Um, we'll do that. So right now, we're trying to help them win this war. I don't know if we're going to be able to win the war, but at least we can force a peace, probably. Although I really do need manpower and I need troops to help, which I don't have right now. Oh. <sighs> Not going so great. On the other hand, their land is under siege, or was until they just killed people sieging it. That's a shame. They think they're going to win the war. Any chance you'll just let me peace out? No. Okay, I'm not going to give 400 gold away. Sorry. Not right now. No 400 gold being handed over to people just because you're being annoying. Although I am losing land, which is frustrating. Very frustrating. <sighs> Do they actually have any claims on my lands? They have enough to claim one province. Pretty much it. Even if I lose the war, I don't lose too much. But I'd like to take the fort I've been sieging. Probably, I really do need to get to cannon at some point. Also need to reduce my war exhaustion a bit, apparently. Pretty bad. Although if they revolt, they would cause havoc for the invading army, so... Might be a possibility. Anyhow, we're about to take that, which should even the war a little bit. I'm going to lose that fight, aren't I? No, I won that fight. I'm going to lose this fight. Yes. Definitely going to lose that fight. Okay, they're offering peace 700. I can't afford 700. Sorry. All right, now. Why are we marching into Afghanistan? Afghanistan's not in the war. Or is it? You know what? Let's give them 700. It hurts. I don't like it. Kind of the best I can do right now. I'll use a loan from those guys. Cheaper interest, so. Slightly superior. Still sucks. Ugh, lots of loans. Okay, well. We know what we're going to do, and that's pretty much nothing. Pretty much everybody who borders us, other than Malwa, we have truces with. Or kind of likes us. Um, although, I'm sad that Sin hates me now. I can actually vassalize Marwad if given time. Um, can ally any of you, can I? No. Okay. I guess I'll work on trying to vassalize Merwat given time. Can't do that till they're at peace though, so. Although I would love to get Sinned back as an ally. Might pull you off, send you back. <sighs> they're unhappy because I left the war, I think, early. That might be their the complaint of everybody around me. Billion peasants are under control. My army is rebuilding. It's a start. Very slow start, but it's a start. I couldn't win the war without some type of military bonus right now. And not and losing my morale advisor. Nothing I can do. Which sucks. I wanted to help. Good national ideas. I just realized once we get the Afghan nobility here, 
and we get quality ideas, we're going to be getting quite a lot of army tradition as a base starting point. So that'll be really nice in the long run. We do have to repay these loans at some point, but that's just a matter of time. Apparently Merwat doesn't like us enough to be a vassal anymore. Suppose it happens. Really close to actually be able to get Sinned back as an ally. Maybe if they lose some troops. A tough choice. I'll take that instead. Get a conversion. Let's get started on defensive ideas, which we've clearly seen the necessity of seeing the Indian subcontinent the way it is. Um, we'll take the tech. Yeah, we'll take the tech, come back for the idea group. That'll work out better in the long run for us. Sad that Sin hates us so much. Sad to see. Ability loss. Oof. Why are you doing this to me, game, here? Okay, Kashmir is being converted. We should, yeah, we have quite a few bonuses to conversion right now, so I will use that. What well, we can to try and get this area under control a bit more. Although, to be honest, we're almost at 100 religious unity, so it's not a big issue. But I am going to keep saving money. I could do the corruption reduction stuff, but I'm not going to. Might now that I've got the tech. Oh, I'll think about that. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's um, taking the debased currency and then using the legalism to lower corruption. Pretty cool, cool little trick. There we go, I got an ally back. So, this is our alliance network. This is John Purs. This is Sir Hins, Afghanistan. Clearly, we're going to have to pick a fight with Afghanistan pretty much no matter what we do, which is a shame because they like us. I guess I'll ally them for now. When Diplo Power lost a month, but I can handle that for now. We're about to hit our next government reform here in a month or so. Two months? Three months? May. Whenever that is. Next month. So, we'll get another government reform going. I'm thinking we will go for... Oh, apparently I got one more month. That's weird. It says May 1st, but it wasn't May 1st. Strange. Okay. Um, centralized, decentralized. We're going to go centralized. There we go. That should keep our autonomy pretty well in line, given time. Especially once we start spanning outside of our core lands. To be fair, the Sultanate of Delhi has quite a few, is very rich if you actually manage to control all your core provinces. Actually, you know what I forgot to do at the beginning of the game, I'm realizing? I should have seized a province from Sir Hind if I could have got... No, I couldn't have gotten loyalty to that well enough. Just wondering if it's possible to keep Sir Hind as a vassal early on before you have to go off and kill them. Uh, price that must be paid. We will deal with rebels. We have an army, and we're very, very rich. Well, we're waiting. How are people liking the series so far? It's been pretty desperate. I'm not really going to go too deft into mechanics. I'm just going to use them. So if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, I need more military power. Unfortunately, apparently, since the states are so different in India, it's actually kind of hard to manage at all. At least the Jean, Jane, whatever, is not a huge penalty. Though I do need to give you land somehow. Um, I 
I'll give him that. Good. I shouldn't have. Shoot, I shouldn't have given that all now I think about it. Okay, I want to give them some land here. That way I actually make some, uh, I get some uh, admin power out of them periodically. Only 50, but... Unfortunately, state religion is not dominant, which really hurts my admin income. Can't do military for 10 years. I really shouldn't have given them that province. That's gonna, yeah, reduce production and trade power. Darn. Okay. At least it's only a level 1 center of trade. Uh, we'll execute you because apparently my relative was a traitor. And we will keep converting? Yeah, we'll keep converting. Next reform will be 505, so ways to go there. In terms of great powers, 50 development less than Muscovy. Oh, good. Pretty well. I remember I do have to own this upper land here for the achievement right, from Delhi. I need, yeah, I need those handful of provinces. Two, those three, actually. Just keeping an eye on it, because I do need to start thinking about how far I want my borders to go in each direction. I'm not going to try for a world conquest as Delhi, I'll tell you that. Timurids and Mughals, maybe, someday, but Delhi, not nearly as... Not nearly strong enough. Later on, yes, but early on, I have to survive that very, very, very bad early game. I need money. Brahmin here are not that useful. Other than tax. Kind of a... Kind of sad... You think that they, they should have an interaction? If they don't, other than get legitimacy, which, being as I'm an Indian sultanate, is not a huge problem for me. General died. That's fine. Although, bad. we go, catching up in tech. Let's see how the Renaissance is doing outside of our lands. Curious. It's only in our lands. Okay. So it's actually working rather well. Nobody is getting it fast enough that we're going to have any major tech competitors for a while. They're looking at, what, 33% tech penalty? Whereas I invested my 33% in my lands. Gonna attack this guy in four years. Assuming he doesn't get any other allies in the meantime. Multan can be attacked three years or so as well. Luchistan and Jeanpur. Jeanpur itself can be attacked in three years. Depends Oksana though. I don't really want to fight them. What's John Per's military look like? We have more troops than they do. They also have manpower. They have more manpower though. Another conversion. Nice to see. We'll keep that going. After all, the more Muslim provinces we have in the long run, the better. I guess. I suppose I could go humanist and just be tolerant of everything. There we go. Bonus to Surhin's fortifications. Happy with that. Sadly, I can't form the Mughals as Delhi. Otherwise, they'd be the perfect country to do it, considering you start with a lot of the land. Oh well. We're going to start getting ideas here, which should help. 
I can get to the three, the additional maneuver, morale, and army tradition should be enough to protect us militarily. Probably should go admin next. Get the stack that with the core creation there, 35%. Ooh, taxation policy. Um, tax. We really haven't taken much land that we didn't have cores in, so. Core creation cost will be nice if I stack it with the other two stuff. That'll be, what, 40% core creation cost reduced? Not bad. Not as great as the Ottomans, obviously. Or the Moogles, although I don't know if they changed the Moogle ideas. I don't think they did. Gotta imagine that would have been a... Uh, that, uh, that okay, so if I take Kabdul and that whole region, get a stability modifier, about it. Do that area. Huh. Okay. I guess I didn't know the uh, sheer impact that the Afghani culture has had on northern India there. Uh, I guess it makes sense. It's right on the border. This is what the culture map looks like for anyone who is curious. We have the eastern Aryans down there, the Sinhalese. Which are, interestingly enough, the same as these guys over here, but not the Tamil culture down there. Interesting to me, at least. Gorkin Separatist. Okay. I'm torn. Do I want to beat up John Purr and take, you know, another 20, 30 development or not? Also, speaking of which, I should probably get some cannon. Hurting my income a lot. And my ability to repay loans. However, increased siege ability. It's pretty much priceless. Do it this way, though. I always forget that I should distribute my production. Sikhism. Do we want to consider transforming to Sikhism? Where did that start? Where are you? Oh, there it is. What does Sikhism give us? Curious. This is when it would be nice to get a nice summary of what the religions do. Um, if we go to the religions tab, will that tell me? Okay, uh, Sikhism or not? Sikhism or not? I don't think there's any missions that say I have to stay Muslim. However, if I form Sikhism, I could form Punjab. Yeah. Huh. It looks like I try culture shifting to form the Mughals. I think Sikhism gives military stuff, which is kind of cool. Sikhism. Or not. I don't know. I kind of want to try Sikhism. I really kind of want to try Sikhism. On the other hand, I would it be... Actually, it would still be fairly tolerant, wouldn't I? I don't know. Might be? I might not be actually tolerant. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I think I'll actually stop this here then. I'll look up what the Sikhism bonuses are and decide for next time if I'm going to form Sikh uh, go Sikhism or not. Kind of wanting to do it because I've never played a Sikh, a Sikh country before. On the other hand, the rebellions to subdue all the other religions of my land are going to be huge. So, things to consider. Anyhow, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.